was a lot of attention being pulled to the near the IT band. Immediately as they stood up, I could see there was a bunch of tension and you can definitely see it as I move upwards in this way. It's a ball about yay big. Now it's pulling across the hamstring and into the inner portion of the hamstring. So when I come up right here, you can kind of see those fascia balls just pulling and creating this wall of tension that goes all the way up and into this IT band. We're gonna warm it up first and then we are gonna trace the tension all the way up to this IT band. This is a form of, of satellite therapy. So this is our main knot right here. And since this is our main knot, we can follow it and see the tension line that goes all the way down. And so all of these little nodules that you're seeing right here, those are all satellites. So all these satellites need to be broken up until we get to the main knot, which is right here. And that is the home, home spot. After you work the home spot, it'll release and then activation and she'll have full range of motion without any pain. Just because we have satellites coming this way doesn't mean that it's just this portion. It can also be right here in the, in the IT. I'm gonna do a quick time lapse. Okay, so now that we traced everything all the way down, now we're going over here and we are working on the home spot. Now, as you can see on the home spot, it, it is a lot of tension. So I, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do some active cupping. So I'm putting a cup right here and I'm going to do some active cupping. So I'm moving it, I'm moving the fascia, but surely, but just like that. There we go, now we're getting a good pull. I can feel all those bumps being pulled underneath the cup. And there we go, all the way around. We're gonna tighten all of this up, the skin, and we are also pulling apart all those fascial adhesions that are causing those big old knots to occur just like that. And while this is causing some tension this way, I'm gonna work downwards with my heated gua sha tool. And I'm gonna work all the way down. And this is feeling a lot better. I really want to pull it out. Press fascia, because sometimes fascia gets compressed and it causes a, a knot that will be like a compression knot. And I'm trying to pull it out so it decompresses. And again, this is active cupping, so this is a little bit different. Now we're hitting more of the anterior portion. And we continue down, breaking up all of these it's just a, a band of just pure fascia being pulled by the, the hamstring and possibly even by the quad. Right there, all that fascia being pulled in the front as well. Here we're gonna polish this up and then what we're gonna finish off with the posterior portion of the leg, stationary cupping. And then when we're up, when we're face up, we're gonna do some red light therapy plus cupping for this area. We're gonna continue on with stationary cupping, all right? So stationary cupping, we're gonna go one, two, three. I don't know if that's too tight. I think it's too tight. One, two, three. Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. okay. So we're gonna do stationary cupping and we're trying to trace through all the muscle. And so that that way the muscle can relax in the form factor of which it flows. I like to trace the muscle so that that way it gives it the most relief possible for fascial concerns. Once, it comp once the fascia compresses, it can restrict a lot of these muscles from moving freely and it can actually stick it to other things like ligaments, tendons, even bone, and it'll restrict the movement. So that's why if you get a chiropractic adjustment, sometimes the muscles will move the adjustment back out of place because of the fascia. Okay, I think we're gonna leave that just the way it is. And we're gonna leave this on for about five minutes. So we got, we got these, this pattern. Let's see how, 
let's see how the cuffs react. Now remember, the darker the area, the more restriction we had because the fascia can restrict circulatory components of the body. So let's go ahead and go through and see how the body reacts. Now we can immediately see that there are some dark areas, but for the most part, it's looking very, very healthy. Look at all these clear ones. And that's what I like to see because that means that I mostly did a good job. Now, when we have darker areas, it obviously means it needs a lot more work. Doesn't necessarily mean you did a bad job, but uh, it's either the area was really, really bad or I did a bad job. So um, I always like to compare myself with when doing stationary cupping, I like to see the correlation of polarization and see if I did a good job with this area or did I not? Because sometimes I feel like I lack and the cups and the stats don't lie. So this is looking really good. I've been seeing good results. And as you can tell, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this. Give me one second. And as you can tell right here, it's looking a lot better. Now I did mention in the front, if you see the pull, so you can see a little bit of the tight fascia right here. See that? So I know that it's pulling on the quad just as much, but this is looking a lot better. Right here, boom. So right there, I, you can see this ball right there, just boom, pulling all the way around the hip and up into iliotibial band via the tensor fascia latte, TFL. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna polish again and I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse that really quick. So now what we're gonna do, now that we've worked through the whole tissue and everything, we're gonna go ahead and cut through, one, two, three, and we're gonna trace the same way that we trace the back of the leg. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna be cupping this side. Still a little bit of tightness in there. So what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using these red light cups to create a suction and it's going to be suctioning and then it's also going to be creating red light therapy so it's going to help kind of release and alleviate any kind of tension that might have been there due to the massage because it was still a little bit tense and so that we don't want to cause any inflammation. And now we're going to put the second one and there we go. Now we're going to leave this on for about five minutes. Go ahead and take out these cups and we're going to check out to see how they are and a lot of them seem to be letting go on their own and check this out well then. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take these guys off there we go i'm gonna go ahead and just polish through how does that feel oh she like does it feel like the first time it's so smooth there you go and here we are. Look at that, it looks way better after we did the red, red light therapy along with the stationary cupping.